Questions continue to swirl around what exactly happened 11 days ago when Houston police officers served a warrant in the Gloverdale neighborhood. Four officers were shot and wounded. A fifth was injured. As the investigation continues, one officer connected to the raid has been relieved of duty. Well, tonight, for the first time since that new development, we are hearing from Chief Art Acevedo. Our Sophia Beausoleil is live with those new comments from the chief. Sophia. Well, Keith, Chief is not saying much about the investigation and says he doesn't want to until the internal investigation is complete. We did ask him if they plan on having the Texas Rangers or a federal agency come and step in and conduct an external investigation. He says no and says that he has confidence in the department's special investigation unit. It's been almost two weeks since Dennis Tuttle and his wife, Regina Nicholas, were killed inside their home during a drug bust. HPD narcotics officers served a no-knock warrant to the home after they say someone from the house sold heroin to an informant. HPD raided the home, which led to the shootout, which left two suspects dead and five officers injured. Later, police said they did not find heroin. We will get to the bottom of everything that went well, uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly, because that is our moral and legal obligations uh, as a department. Friday, we learned from a newly released search warrant that police retrieved two shotguns and two rifles from the home, along with 18 grams of marijuana and 1.5 grams of an unknown white powder. This new information comes a day after a narcotics division officer connected to the raid was relieved of duty. Many questions now surround this case, something Chief R. Acevedo says he's not going to talk about right now. I'm not going to speak anymore about the investigation because we're not going to piecemeal the discussion. The chief says they do not plan on asking for outside help on this investigation and are relying on their own special investigation unit within the department. All I know is that when we are done with our investigation, we will have uncovered every and turned over every stone to get to the truth. We owe that to uh, the involved officers. We owe that to uh, the family of the deceased suspects. At the end of the day, we owe that to this community. And the Houston Police Officers Union says there's still many details that need to come to light, but right now they don't have them because the officer who is in charge of leading that drug bust, he is still recovering in the hospital and is not able to speak at this time due to those injuries. Reporting live from downtown Houston, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News.